Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. Yes, another tutorial with some very cool stuff inside Photoshop CS6. So, let's get started. My first tip, it's an, it's an improvement and it's brilliant. This is just brilliant and it's a very simple one and it's the very first one that you'll see when you start Photoshop, which is this. So, you install Photoshop, all done, very cool. You try it for the first time and first thing that comes up it's if you want if you want to migrate presets from the previous versions and you click yes and everything is here like for instance I've got my old uh, workspaces right here uh, I've got my brushes I've got everything imported straight to to CS6 so it saves us like going to load brushes load this load that so it's brilliant Another feature that probably you've noticed is the workspace is slightly darker. Well, it's darker. So let's go into the Edit menu or Photoshop menu in the Mac and let's go to Preferences and General. So, actually, Interface and we can change now for different colors. So, just feel free to see which one you feel more comfortable with. I kind of like this one so I'm going to leave it like that so I'll click OK there we go so now let's go for something really cool which is right here shape tools so we've got the ret rectangular rounded rectangular ellipse etc so let's say we want to create a shape so if we want to create a shape we are used to see right here on the top some icons well Adobe decided to simplify this so now it's all written down so it's shape, path or pixels and you can select it so I'm going to start with a simple one so pixels you all know what it is there you go on top of the existing layer so you know new layer and just go and there you go so that's one cool thing so let's get rid of that if we want paths we just go like so and we create a path and go to paths and there you go it's right here so I'm just going to delete the path and bye bye but now let's go for the very very cool thing which is shape so as you can see I've got my foreground color it's black but also I've got my fill right here in black so I'm just going to change the color and uh, now I just go and drag and there you go but on the latest palette you may see that there's no vector mask like before so now it's all in here even though it's still a vector but not with a mask but it's pretty cool so if you want to change the color just click double click in there you go click change color and you can see everything happening in real time as before uh, you can change right here on the toolbar to your swatches and also you can change from the color picker right here as well however if you want to stroke we can stroke it as well right here and it's very simple as you can see I'm just clicking on my swatch now I'm going to just get my color picker and uh, let's go to this color and as you can see it's changing but let's make it thicker so you can see what's happening how cool is that excuse me so as you can see pretty pretty cool everything happens in real time but also we've got the stroke options right here so we've got a line we want it like rectangular and spaced and then dotted line and right here more options which you can create your own preset and that's it for now I hope you liked it and play with Photoshop CS6 because it's amazing thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye for now